I'll make a brand new start of it in old New Leon. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony, and today we are in the new 2019 Honda Civic Si courtesy of Apple Honda in York, PA. And this may very well possibly be the most reliable, fun car under $25,000 out there right now. If you look at consumer reports on the Civic Si, you will see that it has stellar reliability. And I have seen some Civic Si's go up to 600, 700,000 miles, actually. Of course, those are probably the exceptions, but still the point I'm trying to make is this is one of the most reliable cars out there, hence the reason I am in this today. So let's just jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so for the 2019 honda civic si there are two different variants you can go with the sedan or the coupe regardless pricing is actually going to be the same starting at twenty four thousand three hundred dollars and then to keep it simple when it comes to the power plant doesn't matter if you go with the sedan or the coupe that power plant will be the same powering the 2019 civic si is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine putting out 205 horsepower at 57 700 rpm and 192 pound feet of torque available at 2100 rpm power of course being sent to the front wheels through a six speed manual transmission giving you a zero to 60 time probably of approximately 6.7 seconds depending on how you drive i guess with mpg numbers coming in at 28 in the city 38 on the highway 38 miles per gallon you guys in a fun car that's pretty nice but so then before we do any kind of acceleration i did want to mention there is a sport driving mode just behind the shift there and let's go ahead and press that and it changed the gauge color to a little more red but essentially what that is going to do is adjust the throttle response as well as the adaptive dampers they of course helping firm up the suspension during heavy cornering but having mentioned that sport driving mode now let's do a quick little acceleration test out the clutch feel a little bit see how it shifts and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2019 honda civic si here up to speed all right so starting from second gear <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> One of the best things about the Civic Si and really all of Honda clutches, it's absolutely amazing the way any six-speed transmission in a Honda actually feels. And I actually learned how to drive manual on a Honda S2K. So maybe I've gotten used to them, maybe I'm partial to them, but the grab points are quite easy to find. Rowing through the gears is so easy in a Honda Civic Si and at the same time extremely fun. That is why I've said in past reviews any six speed in a Honda is probably one of the best cars to learn how to drive manual on because like I said it is easy to row through the gears and they are a blast to drive. But so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 1.2 inch larger front discs than the standard Civic and actually 0.9 inch larger rear rotors as well. So bigger brake setup if you do go with the Honda Civic Si. And as far as the braking fuel goes, we do have a stop sign here. So yeah, definitely no issues with the braking feel. But so then touching on handling and suspension a little bit now. Up front, the anti-roll bar is 7% stiffer than the regular Civic. In the back, the anti-roll bar is actually 32% firmer than the standard Civic. Civic Si is also going to add more rigid shock mounts as well. And again, adaptive dampers. And just to elaborate a little bit, adaptive damping suspensions, they basically adjust each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but again, adjusting the firmness of the suspension, giving you a little better handling as well there and as far as the ride quality goes definitely another plus for the Civic Si especially for a small compact car this Si has definitely been soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections very nicely so far I would say probably more so than 90% of the other compact cars I've reviewed so very nice ride on this one steering feel is definitely nice but that is to be expected this is a sportier car so I do like the steering feel not as heavy as my Mustang GT but still a very nice weight to it and road noise as well has been very subdued and of course, when it comes to visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And I do have the coupe today, but with the sedan, you're probably going to have even better visibility, honestly. So definitely no issues there either. But enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's now check out the exterior of this 2019 Honda Civic Si. 
And so when it comes to the exterior, let me first start with the two new colors available for the 2019 Civic Si. Premium White Pearl being one of them and Tonic Yellow Pearl being the other. You guys may have already seen that on a couple of coupes riding around, so definitely a very bright color. But anyways, up front you will find halogen headlights that will come with the automatic feature as well as fog lights just below. And of course, LED daytime running lights as always. SI badging can also be found within that front grille up there. Then make your way to the sides, there are body color power adjustable side mirrors. They will come heated as well. Then take a look down at the wheel setup. There are 18 inch alloy wheels that will come standard on the Civic SI. Make your way to the back rear spoiler will come standard i actually absolutely love this rear spoiler i'm looking at here in the rear view mirror definitely a very nice look to it si badging as well back there and just below it all a rear center mounted exhaust with a chrome tip so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So now since we are round back to open that rear trunk easiest way is probably just simply press the button on the key fob there once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 11.9 cubic feet for the coupe we have today however if you want with the sedan that is going to come in at 15.1 cubic feet either way though rear seats do fold down giving you a ton of extra space if you needed it there then make your way up to the rear legroom if you go with the coupe you will find 35.9 inches of rear legroom back there which honestly for a coupe is quite a bit for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there if you went with the sedan you do get a little bit more bumping it up to 37.4 inches but so then making your way to the front seats fabric trimmed front seats with si badging near the top that is going to come standard and they are actually heated as well that is also going to come standard so that's very nice as far as the bolstering goes this is one of the first things i noticed bolstering is all right not as much as the type r of course but these are very comfortable seats i will say definitely wouldn't have any issues going on long road trips if you plan on doing any of that in an si so seating is definitely on point but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping and it is leather wrapped as well when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your honda logo on the one side end when you flip it over lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch but the Civic SI will actually give you a push button start located just above the driver's right knee so all I am going to do is simply put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button there and so but once started up when it comes to the gauges engine temp is all the way to the left fuel meter is all the way to the right and front and center there is a large digital display and again you will get a red display if you have that sport button pressed but digital readout of your speed is going to be front and center tachometer is just behind that you have your outside temperature at the bottom but in addition to that you actually have some steering wheel mounted controls on the left side you can press to scroll through a ton of different things like g-force statistics for instance that's pretty cool also bluetooth information when you need your next oil change and there's a ton of other stuff as well but let's take a look at overall interior quality aluminum sport pedals will come standard on the si gotta love that along with the power moonroof also something i definitely appreciate dual zone climate control will also come standard and there's a carbon fiber weave plastic ish look just above the glove box there definitely don't mind that overall the civic does have quite a nice sporty appearance to it and i gotta love just in front of the shifter here how there is a second cubby just below the usb plug-in cable to kind of hide all of those unnecessary wires that just clutter up everything so gotta love that second edition just below that is out of sight and out of mind of everything but now let's take a look at the tech display seven inch color touchscreen display will come standard giving you bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay well done honda for that you can also check out your driving statistics up there if you wanted to as well as your radio information and by the way when it comes to the sound system 10 speakers with a subwoofer will come standard along with 450 watts so you guys know what we have to do next let's turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> Actually, more clarity than I expected. Very nice sound system there. Good bit of bass, but the clarity is probably what impressed me the most. But I guess it does have 10 speakers, but 
Well done, Honda. And so then on the tech display, last thing I wanted to mention is two foot Pacific SI in reverse, simply press down on the brake and clutch, slide it all the way into the back right hand corner there. When you do that, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. So to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, you're gonna find latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also a tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard, but in addition to that, you have Honda Lane Watch. This is gonna be a small camera within the side mirrors. So what you get is a camera displayed up on that tech display screen, showing you what is beside you, kind of covering all of your blind spots so you don't go turning into anybody. I thought that's pretty cool. It's something kind of specific to Honda. It's something they do, so I think that's pretty cool but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold <laughs>